The secret of getting ahead is getting started, a famous quote by the legendary Mark Twain. But who was the man behind these wise words? Born Samuel Clemens in 1835, nestled deep in the heart of Missouri, young Samuel's life was a tapestry of experiences that would shape not just the man, but the legendary writer he would become. A humble household of seven was his cradle, his early years dotted with the tales of his siblings. The world was a different place back then, and Samuel was a keen observer, his childhood experiences etching deep impressions on his young mind. His early jobs, too, were a mosaic of experiences. As a printer's apprentice, he tasted the power of the written word. His stint as a riverboat pilot introduced him to a variety of people and places, enriching his worldview and moulding his storytelling. So our young Samuel Clemens, about to become Mark Twain, begins his journey, armed with a wealth of experiences from his early years. The Mississippi River, a place of beauty and danger, would play a crucial role in shaping the writer we know as Mark Twain. Born Samuel Clemens, he adopted the name Mark Twain from his riverboat days. The term, a riverboat jargon, meant two fathoms deep, a safe depth for riverboats. His writing career took off with his first successful story, The Celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County. This humorous tale brought him into the spotlight, earning him national attention. Building on this success, Twain penned a series of works that further established his unique voice. The Innocents Abroad humorously chronicled his voyage across Europe and the Holy Land, while Roughing It offered a comical look at his adventures in the Wild West. These pieces showcased Twain's ability to blend humor with sharp social commentary, a skill that would become his signature. As Mark Twain, he began to make his mark on the literary world, his wit and satire capturing the attention of readers across the nation. Twain once said, truth is stranger than fiction, but it is because fiction is obliged to stick to possibilities, truth isn't. This belief is evident in his most celebrated works. Twain's most famous books, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, are more than mere stories of boyhood adventures. They are profound reflections of the American society of Twain's time. These novels, set along the Mississippi River, offer a glimpse into the realities of racism, class differences, and the often harsh and unforgiving nature of society. In The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, we see a young boy's journey through life filled with escapades and mischief, but beneath the surface, Twain explores themes of morality, society, and the human condition. It's a work that captures the essence of boyhood and the spirit of adventure while subtly critiquing societal norms. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, on the other hand, is often considered Twain's masterpiece, a novel that delves deeper into societal issues. Through Huck and Jim, Twain explores the struggle for freedom, the hypocrisy of civilized society, and the cruelty of slavery. This novel's impact was so profound that it's often hailed as the great American novel, a pillar of American literature. As Twain's career progressed, his later works began to reflect a growing cynicism and pessimism. Books like The Mysterious Stranger and Letters from the Earth showcase a darker, more skeptical view of humanity, possibly a result of personal tragedies he faced. These works, though not as renowned as his earlier novels, offer a deeper understanding of Twain's evolving worldview. Each of these works, whether they inspire laughter, provoke thought, or stir discomfort, embody Twain's unique ability to tell a story that resonates with the reader, that mirrors society, and that challenges us to question our own beliefs and perceptions. Mark Twain, a man who used his pen to shed light on the truths and contradictions of American society, left an indelible mark on the world of literature. Twain once wrote, the man who does not read good books has no advantage over the man who can't read them. He made sure to leave us with plenty of good books. His legacy, a treasure trove of wit and wisdom, has profoundly influenced the literary world. His unique voice, peppered with humor and satire, paved the way for future writers, encouraging them to challenge conventions and depict the raw realities of life. Despite his passing in 1910, his works show no signs of fading into obscurity. They are still widely studied, dissected, and cherished today, over a century later. His masterpieces, such as The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, remain timeless classics, their truths as relevant today as they were in Twain's time. Mark Twain, a man of wit, wisdom, and an unflinching eye for truth, remains one of America's greatest writers. 
his words continuing to inspire and provoke thought even today.